everyone. Hello. We've got Monica's update today, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We've missed each other for a month, so <laughs> there'll be a whole bunch of chatting and catching up since this is our first chance. But let's get into it. Okay. Okay. It's got to be a whole new reset. <laughs> Okay, whole new reset. So let's just start at the very beginning. We'll check your survival, your adrenals. Survival. So just a general crap month. Yeah. Depression, stress, COVID, yeah. the big C. Yeah. <sighs> Could you have imagined 18 months ago that we would still be here talking about this now? No. And I reckon in the next four years, we'd still be here talking about it. I think so too. Okay, so <laughs> adrenal survival switching, deep survival switching, hidden deep survival switching, they're all activated oh, at the moment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How'd you feel after Renergy's massage? Oh, beautiful. Because I had a sauna beforehand too. Oh, beautiful. She said, have the sauna and then I'll do the massage. Perfect. Face chakra blown. <laughs> yep, okay. Stop it was my birthday the next day too, so. No. So she came with a coffee and cake. <laughs> oh, yeah, she sent me a photo. <laughs> and Salute said that that was very um, lovely. <laughs> Yeah, so your adrenals are in third stage stress, so exhaustion mm -hmm. of okay. your adrenal glands. Yeah. You've done the oh, you've done a good job on yourself. Yeah, I know. I've had everything I want to have, so now I can do HCG and be good at it. Beautiful. Yeah, nice. Because they're even laughing at work. They asked me if I wanted cake, and I said yes. And I said, oh, said yes. <coughs> Is there psychological oh, reversal? Yes, there is. What me thinks safe belief deserve trust, right? So safety and trust have gone out the window again. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I was about to get political. We can't do that. Well, you know, the whole Australia plan, seventy yeah. percent, then it became eighty percent. Now Anna's saying never. Yeah. Those borders are never going to be open. No, it doesn't feel like it, does no. it? We're not part of Australia anymore. We're, we're worse than Tasmania. Mm. It is safe to let go of this problem. Cold. It is safer to keep this problem. Cold. Yeah, so your brain wants to keep the survival up and running because it's mm. keeping your dukes up. It's probably mm. keeping you saying what you need to say. Yeah. I trust I can let go of this problem. Cold. I trust it's better to keep this problem. Oh, okay. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So, trust and safety are gone. Okay. Okay, so we'll do um, flower essence first. Ah, oh, okay. Silver Princess is showing up. Silver Princess is for life direction. Oh, it's okay. for owning your truth, moving forward, do what you want to do. Okay, right here. We can do this. You know when you feel the best. Yes. At the moment, everything in your nervous system is running away from it. So. Well, I want to run away too. Yeah. Yeah, one of my guys this morning, he's... He is another one planning on just selling up, buying a van, going out wobble, wobble mm. hiding away. Mm. He can see the big picture and he doesn't like it. <laughs> okay, no, we don't need the um, essence. We need the we need the um, affirmation. Like the little phrase for a silver princess is let your star shine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's when something has diminished your spark. Okay. So it's harder to feel that divine spark. Yeah. The 
great and glorious masterpiece of life is knowing your purpose. So it's when you feel aimless and despondent and flat and lack of direction. That's it. The positives are motivation, direction and life purpose. Motivation, that's flat. <laughs> My actions now reflect my life plan and purpose. My actions now reflect my life plan and purpose. Hold on, let me stack that in. Okay, so now. And hold. <laughs> and your celestial circuits in third stage stress as well. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of exhaustion going on here. Was there a particular trigger? It's mainly just COVID. Yeah. Yeah. All my friends have got it, and I said, "Well, if you don't want me to be around you, that's fine." Yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah. There's so much out there that if you haven't had the vaccine, you can't do this, you can't do that, and you can't do that. So, what will I do? Homebody. So. That was even going away on the weekend. I didn't want to go because, you know, football will be over Sunday. And if she shuts it down straight away, can I get home or whatever? Renergy helped me out. She says, it's on Sunday night. You're coming home Monday morning. Just go. <laughs> yeah. They can't even fabricate cases in Queensland. You yeah. know, they're trying with all the testing they're doing. They yeah. just can't create yeah. them. It's yeah. great. But yes, how interesting yeah. that uh, we've locked down over one case several times. Yeah. Throwing the grand finals on. Yeah. Six cases doesn't matter. That's right. No politics there. No. When did you actually get back? Sunday night. Oh. Then we went out to um, Lenny's place on Monday. It was her 75th while we were away. Oh, okay. So then I had Teddy Tuesday, so I pretty much today's my first day back. Very good. Sadness, despondency, depression, increasing oxytocin, serotonin, dopamine. Yeah, they start taking those um, pro, pro drops. The uplift pros? Oh, yeah, mm. yeah. Let's take them again. Yeah. Well, one of my cousins cancelled a get together, so we planned on seeing her in Cairns for like two months. Mm -hmm. And her and her hubby, of course, the doctors both jibby jabbed. Mm -hmm. But because her son isn't, she didn't feel comfortable having us visit her because he's not protected yet. And you are? Well, I have natural <laughs> immunity. <laughs> Actually, did you hear that one while I was away? It's a $20,000 fine to ask your doctor in Australia to ask your doctor to find out if you have natural immunity. So it's a $20,000 fine for both the doctor and the pathology lab. Really? Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. Mm. But hey, nothing to see here. Shocking, isn't it? Shocking. Well, friends of um, Mum and Doug's mm. who have been double jabbed, still mm. wearing masks, still angry at everyone who doesn't wear masks, and uh, like they're just wandering around like the world's you know, falling mm. apart. Apparently, um, Adam Bedez at Shire. Or whatever yeah. shire it is, they're yeah. the lowest jabbed in Queensland. <laughs> yeah. But they've had no cases, none for 20 well, months, not a single case. 
Yeah. Well, one of the girls that I volunteer with, she went to Toowoomba and she was wearing a mask and they said, have you got COVID? Because they don't wear masks up there apparently. Mm -hmm. It's amazing being away. It was like there was no COVID above the Sunshine Coast. It was hilarious. Mm, that's interesting. Because, you know, I don't. Mm. And I don't. Yeah. You know, but most places. I did see a funny one. Someone um, let out Dan Andrews's phone number. They said, put that in with his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Make him isolate. <laughs> and hold. Yay. Something's working. Hold. Okay. So we've got your celestial circuit back to second stage stress from third stage okay, stress. Right, yeah. Improving. Tuning fork combo. Okay. Poor oh, brain. liver okay so it's the yeah it's that real overwhelmed feeling yeah and then um, part of the brain just wants to disconnect All liver emotions are showing up. It's usually um, rage, anger, frustration, and internalized rage, anger, frustration. But sometimes when we internalize that, it just turns into depression. Mm. Numbness more than anything. Numb, yeah. yeah. And that makes sense with that feeling of disconnectedness. Mm. Don't worry, I'll still go walking. Mm. I did 18,000 steps yesterday. Wow, well done. I think I'm up to around about 14 today too, so good stuff. I was hoping the extra blue one that's missing would have ended up back in that box. I think I dropped it under the thing when we first moved in here. <laughs> no, so I've got okay. to pull it all apart to, anyway, haven't got there yet. Central liver. Oh, those things underneath that. You've got little white things in the, the thing underneath. Yeah. They fell out. I hope they weren't in any particular order. Oh, okay, that won't matter. No, they weren't. Oh, you know good. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so crab apple. Crab apple is when you are not kind to your health, kind to your body. So it starts with discouragement, and then you end up just abusing your body. So crab apple, you can imagine, it's sort of, um, it's often the dislike of self that sort of is underneath it. Mm -hmm. So as a kid, it's like kids with acne who can't go out in public or mm -hmm. um, kids who are, so there, there's often a childhood thing, of course, you know, yeah, something yeah, going on yeah, and it's yeah. very body related. Okay. And, um, and then there comes in um, some sort of in underneath that, some shame of a weakness you know, to do with our body or our physical or emotional or mental, but it's nearly always starts with the physical. Okay. Because I had a week there when I, I was not kind to any. Like, this is how I perceive things. I was not kind to anybody. I, yeah. Yeah, okay. Just, that was horrible. Why would anyone want to be my friend? Yeah, it was just ridiculous. And you could feel that. Yeah. 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 I just didn't, yeah. So what was it, the inability to turn things positive, which you normally do, or the, yeah, yeah, just didn't yeah, have that? Yeah, and once again, the overwhelm, yeah. so the inability to, yeah, you know, rise in. above, yeah. 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 And maybe it's what you needed, you know, yeah, just to yeah. let it out there. Where would you help to get? Because <laughs> I've seen her every week, so... I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively 
transcend my self-disgust, my discouragement, and my shame of the mental, emotional, spiritual, or physical weaknesses into all encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly, and supportively accept my body and its processes. I understand that cleansing is a necessary stage in the cycle of becoming clearer and more expanded in consciousness. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly, and supportively dissolve my self-disgust, my discouragement, and my shame of my mental, emotional, spiritual, or physical weakness into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly, and supportively accept my body and its processes. I understand that cleansing is a necessary stage in the cycle of becoming clearer and more expanded in consciousness. So that being on the body, that's done its job there. Okay. So let's go have a look again. Oh, reticular activating system. Okay, so uh, that's the part of the brain that releases hormones when something new happens in your world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's been a low serotonin month. Mm -hmm. Creating vigilance, so the whole nervous system is just looking out the next thing probably to be a bit cranky about because mm -hmm. when your serotonin's low, we just don't have the ability to make love, light and flowers out of everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was funny being away with two other couples, you know, like I yeah. said, I was sort of wondering how we would all go. Yeah. And uh, I got a bit scratchy a few times when things were being said. Yeah. And I just find it hard to go along with the whole yeah. thing, especially up there. There hasn't been any, mm, <laughs> you know, right. there's been none. So following all this BS when it just doesn't exist in certain places just mm. seems so stupid. Yeah. yeah, that's just me. How's Sydney going? You never get there. Yeah. yeah. It really feels like that, doesn't it? Mm. Well, if you go across the border, you can't get back unless you have been jabbed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why would you go? Yeah. And you're not an essential. No. Four thousand cops resigning this week, though, in Queensland. Oh really? Mm -hmm. They are oh, refusing okay. the jab. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And you'll because find the they nurses do the same thing. Well, they know. Mm. You know, they're watching what's going on. Yeah. And they also know they're breaking laws by enforcing these mandates, which aren't laws. Mm. So I think a lot of police are waking up. There's a whole bunch in New South Wales. Mm. Okay. And there's ten different industries. You know about the Brad, Brad Hazard lawsuit at the moment mm. so there's 10 different individuals I think it's from 10 industries suing him and uh, the New South Wales government and wanting to for freedom of information find yeah. out the data and the science behind yeah. the laws because yeah. anyone watching it can see you know it's the yeah. poor western suburbs who are being treated the worst yeah and That's the right. rich suburbs are getting away with mm. you know many 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 more things Mm. Men 
was saying that James is going back to school on the 25th of October. Hasn't been there since June. Wow. Oh, he's such a good kid. Had a chat with him lately? Um, yeah, yeah, a few wranglings there. No, about a week ago. Yeah. And, like, Amanda's working from home, so if she's on a video call or something like that, he sort of mimes, uh, you know, are you busy or whatever? And if he's, if she's busy doing something, he uploads the stuff to the school. He's uploading his, he's watched how she does it and he's just doing it for her. How's she doing? Yeah, okay, I think. Just working from home, so. Yeah. And he's home too because the parents can't put up with him. <laughs> Okay, so with clearing the celestial circuit, so that's back to neutral now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the adrenals are doing better, survival yeah. switching is doing better, but there's still deep survival and hidden deep survival, so they're still in the background okay. creating some shenanigans. Did it blow you away that they didn't shut us down after the footy grand final? Yeah. I I don't know whether she will shut us down anymore. She'll just put people, like those schools that where she put them into um, home quarantine. Yeah. Well, that's where the problem was, wasn't it? Yeah, kids getting the flu in winter. Hmm. That's why New South Wales and Victoria have got it. You know, they they don't have any sorts of temperatures like we have. Mm -hmm. Isn't it funny? As the, the higher you go up in Queensland, yeah. the less there are. So. Yeah. We've seen all around the world there's been protests for Australia at our embassies in oh, the UK, in Scotland, okay. in Poland, in New York, oh, okay. in France. Because oh, okay. they can just see, you know, like Victoria being the most quarant um, the most lockdown place in the world, or Victor um, Melbourne yeah, at least. Yeah, 427 days or something. It's ridiculous. And the suicide rate is through the roof. Yeah. Like, it's just shocking. There was one week where uh, they got so overwhelmed, this might have been New South Wales, with um, suicide calls yeah. that they had to, uh, they basically were so overwhelmed they couldn't keep up with the yeah. demand. That's still the same in Queensland. They were saying the other day how, how many um, calls to the um, lifeline and that's now. Yeah, they're well and truly up. Well, at least those people are doing something. Yeah. You know? There was a lady speaking out uh, in New South Wales in the last few days. I got through about half the half the interview with a doctor who's been suspended, mm. thirty two years experience, mm. and uh, that was about what they're prescribing in hospital. Mm. You know the whole good for the goose, good for the gander. Oh, yeah. So those who have been double jabbed, if they get COVID, they're being given ivermectin. Oh, yeah. For those who are not jabbed, they're getting remdesivir. Oh, okay. Very interesting. all crazy just yeah. all crazy i'd hate to be a baby any yeah anything in the last 12 baby months oh shocking absolutely they, they've had the worst start in life oh no they they already know it's reducing iqs of babies because they're looking at people like this all the That's time right. so they know it's reducing the iqs yeah. by about 20 points yeah with people who are 
you know. Because babies need all of their senses. Yeah, that's right. Nah, just awful. Good thing is, and once again, I've got a few of these to listen to because I haven't listened to much in the last month. But I've got oh, lots boy. of people have been sending me. Uh, there's some good ones by some doctors who have worked out how to pull um, potential toxic ingredients out. Mm -hmm. You know, for people who are really suffering. Mm -hmm. um, that magnetofaction, magnetofaction. Apparently, there's whole textbooks. So, uh, who was that? No, I can't remember who. Maybe it was Dr. Carrie Matage. But anyway, sort of talking about, you know, there's this whole area of science mm. that's about magnetizing things oh, okay. and how it works at a cellular level. Yeah. But yeah, entire textbooks out there have been for a decade. Wow. So this is not. So these are already written. Mm hmm. Oh, funny that. Mm hmm before it happens yeah and the SM102 which I think is the luciferase luciferase mm. that's the one that lights up in the body so when you're under an x-ray they can tell whether I think if you're under an x-ray they can tell whether you've been jabbed or not oh really Dr. Christiane Northrup. Mm. She was speaking somewhere and um, someone she knew had a false vaccine passport but they knew that it was false. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting times. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, you can. Most places don't care. Mm. I'm sure you found that down the Gold Coast. That's right. Mm. Long care to mask when you could go into the hotel. Mm. Um, it said no mask, no, no entry. So, look, I'm quite happy to do it. I love walking into those places without a mask. Yeah. And um, yeah. so far, I have not been asked to put one on. I don't think anywhere, have I? Oh, there was some Chinese shop that I just walked out of, but that was not during a mask. That was it. There was no mask thing at the time, yeah. and they wear it, get everyone to wear masks and do their hands before they walked in, yeah. and had a cheeky babe at the front door making sure. Yeah. So I just went, no. Nah. Is that need to go? Yeah. No, nah, I, I can choose. Oh, that's the same as when you get to, to shop the shops elsewhere. and you haven't got one on, and I'm thinking. I walk back to the car and think, well, I really didn't need it. <laughs> That's laziness, though. But... Subclossal gyrus. That's a genetic rage anger that turns into depression. No, oh, okay. Yeah, Mum was telling the story about uh, she remembers when margarine was being developed. Okay. Do you remember this story? No. She said that it was they were trying to feed the margarine, which was a byproduct yeah. of uh, something toxic, yeah. and they were trying to feed it to geese to fatten up their livers for pate, and okay. the geese wouldn't eat it, so they coloured it, flavoured it, and started feeding it to humans. So Mum remembers that whole story. Okay. Yeah, 
Pepper and margarine, sorry for the so being confusing. That is good for you, but not during HCG. No, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for HCG. <laughs> <laughs> so when have you started? I haven't started. So I knew I was bad today, so get the bad news and then work on it. Nice. Hold them going back. This is liver. Hold up and going down. So the sympathetic nervous system, the rage anger, mm -hmm. it's checking what organs are being shut down because of that. So the first organ is the liver. Mm -hmm. So all of our blood goes through the liver every 12 to 25 minutes or something like mm -hmm. that. And when we're stressed, it slows it down to sludge. Oh, so okay. then the emotional gear can get stuck in the liver. Oh, so okay. then it's waiting there for the next time you feel the same. Oh, Just okay. brings it out again. So the worst mm -hmm. one out of the four was mm -hmm. the one associated with emotional gear. Oh, okay. Which makes sense. Yeah. I wish you could just get it together and then I'd never have any more emotional problems. Imagine if there was no COVID. Oh, we'd all be happy with me, guys. Yeah. Would be a whole yeah. different world. That's right. Not fighting with one another and oh, it's crazy. So many people have lost friends, and I was saying to Mum that when I share something on her Facebook page, I can pretty much guess <laughs> yeah. who of her friends are going to make positive yeah. comments. Yeah. She said, "What? Well, I think there's four of us." <laughs> <laughs> mm. I said, "Well, they probably shadow banned it as well." Yeah. Um, don't even look on Facebook anymore. Uh, there was a really good uh, discussion by a professor who's been a professor for like in the 70s. Mm -hmm. He was doing research for vaccines for nasopharynx viral virus oh. transmission. Yeah. So, you know, he's got a fair bit of cred in the industry. Yeah. Highly, highly qualified professor, Australian. And he was calling out all the people like the Doherty Institute. Yeah. He said, Peter Doherty knows all this is a lie. He said, they know that this vaccine won't work. It has never, ever worked for something that's spread by our droplets. Yeah. And um, he said, but, and then he listed how much money they've been getting paid. Mm. And I'm not sure whether it was New South Wales alone, but it was $65 million that these institutes have been paid in the last 20 months to give the government their information. It's our money, Monica. Mm. Well, actually, it's money out of thin air, let's face it, it mm. doesn't exist. first client who coincidentally now has double breast cancer since Judy Jabs. Oh, really? They have nothing to do with it, of course, but um, a couple of the pathologists I've been listening to, and there's a few standing up now. Mm. Um, Maybe there's three I've listened to so far, but people who were actually doing pathology testing before and after and seeing the increase in cases of all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And I think people think if they get the first or the second, then life's going to get back to normal. I don't think they're looking into the next. Yeah, that's right. It's not <clears throat> What did happen in that uh, lawsuit down in New South Wales in the last few days <coughs> was that they admitted that the mandates aren't lawful. 
Mm, really? Mm. But that individual businesses can mandate. But then you've still got the whole of Australia with the individual premiers insisting on the percentages. Yeah, that's right. And I think, that, I reckon that's the main reason people are doing it. Yeah. It is. I know it's been harder for you. Um, but for me, I'm just like, oh well, family members I'll never see again. Yeah. Oh, right. My cousin Judy. She's moving up to Maribyrnong. I don't know how she'll ever get into Queensland. Huh, I had not thought about the jibby jab for her. Because that won't happen. Mm. No, it doesn't matter whether you're vaccinated or not. Yeah, there's people applying for exemptions to get in and they just can't get in. Yeah. <clears throat> No, we're a state in our own. Yeah. We're not even part of Australia anymore. No, it doesn't feel like it, does it? Us and Perth, Actually, out I'm on our own. I'm sort of embarrassed to be a Queenslander yeah, at the moment. Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. And you saw what she's trying to do with SCOMO. Yeah. Get money out of yeah, the hospital yeah. system, Absolutely. saying that they're not ready. I'm glad he's slapping it down, though. Yeah. Well, what is she spending money on? Mm -hmm, Public exactly. servants. The cause. Her 35 PR people. That's right. What? What? Keep it safe. So she's she's not doing it. A 35 up. <laughs> They've closed their gym down and made it a, um, a jab centre. Yeah. It doesn't really bother me as such because I just use the app on anyway. But yeah. um, people saying that, oh, well, they've got the show hall for gentle exercise and that. But like, if you want to, um, you know, bikes and and um, treadmills and stuff like that, apparently you can't. Hmm. Well, you know, Mum does old time dancing. So the rules, yeah, so the, they've been doing it forever mm. and uh, of course you're allowed to have 60,000 people at a football game, mm. but they have a maximum of 20 and for most of the last 20 months a lot of the halls are insisting these little old people, you can imagine, mm. so probably average age 75, mm. uh, have to take their own hot water, their own tea coffee, their own little snack because you can't possibly hang out in the kitchen and sit down at a communal table and... They're only allowed to dance with one partner, so all of the group partners are gone. But, 50,000 at a grand final. There was a great picture on Sky News that had um, like a huge group of people. There would have been 300 people in this picture, not a single mask among them. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, Miles was trying to, Stephen Miles was trying to say, Everyone was really respectful. They were wearing masks unless they were doing eating or drinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You crazy footballer douchebags. Well, people that were there said that there was, mm, people weren't wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And even the um, morning um, talkback fella, he said they weren't wearing masks. Mm -hmm. He was there. Oh well, she had a date with a boyfriend. Mm. Let's see if he can get her in trouble the way Gladys' boyfriend got in trouble, got her in oh. trouble. Amanda was devastated. She said she was really good, Mum. She liked her. Well, she has felt one of the most sensible. Yeah. You know, I think, yeah, she's felt... Like she was still taking people, yeah, yeah, in from overseas, you know, more than us. Like, we'd take a measly 
hundred. She was taking thousands. Yeah. Oh, she should have locked down earlier. Find her, um, not guilty. Well, I heard she's going into federal politics. Oh, good on her. There's a few of them resigned by in New South Wales, isn't it? Yeah, Doug said they're thinking about six. Yeah. What do you think about the new guy? Down there? Mm. I don't know. Don't know anything about him really. I just saw something on um, Sky where they were, uh, she was just doing an overview of what mainstream mm. media was pushing about him, and all they kept saying was six kids Catholic, six kids Catholic, six kids Catholic. Oh, okay. I must admit, I'm trying not to watch the news now. Yeah. And now that it's lighter at night, I'm still down the yard anyway. Beautiful. So. Now trees. <laughs> yeah, nice. Feeling good? Yep. And how's your house feeling these days? Oh, inside's no. Don't even go there? No. <laughs> I just want to be outside. Dog and I. So lucky we're not Western Sydney with drones over, telling oh, us yeah, to go inside right. even in the backyards. Mm. Dan's police were doing that last year as well, telling them they weren't allowed to be in their yards. So what about vitamin D? Uh -huh. Don't we need vitamin D? Mm -hmm. Where do we get it from our backyards? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, no. That's crazy talk. Yeah. Crazy talk. Mm. You know, you're a conspiracy theorist. Mm. Easiest way to get vitamin D. Absolutely. I love being out in the yard. Nice. Yeah. As you can see. Yeah, <laughs> it's good for you. Yes. Um, what did I hear about? I hadn't heard this before. But the whole petrochemical industry, so big pharma, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the drugs are made from byproducts from the petrochemical industry. Oh, really? So apparently part of the reason for building the big pharma was to use up the byproducts. Mm. So they started creating medications. Within 10 years of that happening with the Rockefellers, that's when they started the American Cancer Foundation, because cancer started going through the roof. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't heard that connection before. But like, everybody's got a family, but someone's got cancer. Oh, absolutely. And some have families, a feeling it's going to go up. Yeah, some families are just riddled with it now. Well, Mum's going to have the BRCA gene test done. Oh, okay. Because mm. apparently there's other drugs that they can try if she has that gene. Oh, okay. And she was asking me if I had insurance. And I said no. And... <coughs> I didn't get why, but apparently if I have insurance and they find out there's a jet bracket gene in the family, then my insurance prices go through the roof. Oh, okay. But I don't think I have insurance, so. It's not wrong, isn't it? Yeah. A gene is just a gene. It still has to be activated. Yeah. So they know that 98% of illness these days is more to do with epigenetic, so it's the environment, yeah. toxicity, yeah. emotional gear affecting our genes. Love these pants. Okay. They're new ones? Yes. Hmm. Nice. They must My feel good. My other ones just don't fit me up at the moment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, 
heart chakra. <laughs> yeah, and this is with you speaking yeah. the truth. <laughs> It's been a good month of practicing not speaking, yeah. <laughs> not speaking your truth when inappropriate. <laughs> and how's the radio feeling with the energy of it these days? Still pushing the jab a yeah, yeah, yeah. Every one of them. Yeah. It'd be stupid if you don't get it. So, so that's why I'm sort of thinking I don't need to listen to it. Mm. Alan Jones is back. Oh, is he? Mm. Okay. He had an operation of some sort, oh. so he was off for a month or so. Still writing some fairly lengthy um, things yeah. about Gladys and all the bureaucrats. Yeah. Well apparently all those people that have been charged under that ICAD, they, none of them have actually been charged. Yeah, but, right. But all their, um, yeah, their, their lives are ruined. Because there was a guy Oh, yeah. And um, he went through hell. Mm -hmm. And then they still weren't charged in the end. Hmm. You know, the IBAC is the one in Victoria. Oh, okay. So it's starting soon. Oh, okay. Because once again. Do we have one up here? Oh, yeah, we'll all have one, but they're all separate apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought I heard this morning they want to make one national. Yeah. Get them all. Yep. Scoop them all up. But so far, all of them have been liberals. Does that say something? Mm. Down in New South Wales. Mm. Oh, well, they would be because they'd be looking at the the leaders of the day. Mm. But in Victoria, it's going to be all Labor. Yeah. There you go, my honey bunny. I trust I can let go of this problem. Oh, yes! It is safe to let go of this problem. Oh, yay! <laughs> yay! So, survival, deep you. survival, hidden deep survival, three layers of uh, your little celestial circuit, your poor little liver was dealing with a whole bunch of that stuff mm. as well. So, well done, well done. Thank well you. Done. Time for an all new you. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, yep. Mon. HCG will start now. Yay! <laughs>